It is a passion that runs acres deep, but the future is uncertain for dozens of local dairy farmers. These producers have less than a month to figure out where they will send their milk. Belina Jones shares what's at stake. Dozens of dairy farmers in Wisconsin might be forced to sell their cows and close their farms after losing a contract with their milk company. Our family is, this is what we know. This is the only thing we do know. What Jennifer and Shane Sauer know is ours spent milking every day year round, the third generation to do so. Our world revolves around these cows and it's, it's, we're hoping to continue, but if we don't have a place for our milk, there's no, we can't continue. Their milk is trucked each day to Grassland Dairy Products, who informed them in a letter Monday that will end this month. It's heartbreaking. I don't know. I mean, we, we worked day and night to get to where we're at. The couple is one of some 75 farmers who received the same notice and are scrambling to figure out what happens next. And right now, with the market being flooded, it, nobody wants your milk. Nobody, it, nobody wants it. And it, what do you do? Grassland's letter claims the issue is with trade and regulations in Canada, where they send a million pounds of milk a day. A statement from the company said, quote, despite attempts to keep trade open, we have been unsuccessful. This came suddenly for both our company and the farmers. This is the kind of thing that happens when agriculture is ignored in government. Um, you know, the trade agreements that um, between Canada, Mexico, and, and the other companies or countries we work with are so important for our industry here in Wisconsin. Dairy advocate Carrie Mess hopes people will call their lawmakers to ask for help, saying it could cause a domino effect across agriculture. In the meantime, the sours will look for another milk buyer, hoping their family's business doesn't end with their generation. We're hoping something shakes loose and, you know, we're able to keep continuing to do what we love. Grassland will stop accepting milk products as of May 1st. Now local farmers here are discussing and working together to try to find different solutions and look at ways to save their farms. Here in Waterloo, I'm Felina Jones, WISC News 3. Grasslands employees tell News 3 they are trying to find other state and industry partners to take the farmers' products. The president of the Professional Dairy Producers of Wisconsin said they plan to discuss this issue at a meeting today.